Hey everyone, this, this is Stephen KC Realpin here, and welcome to another product review. If you're, in case you're wondering, these are actually some Kato pieces that I picked up. These are my very first Kato pieces, because you know, because you know, I haven't been thinking about getting Kato lately, and I decided why not just get some. So I got two boxes I have to share with you guys. So I'll sh turn around and I'll show you guys what they are. As you can see, I have one is they're both Amtrak related, so. I'll show you what they look like. So, this one's a bit of a heavy one. So, we'll just slide the lid off, and it's there it is right there. It's an Amtrak P42 DC locomotive number 19. This is in the, in the current phase 5 scheme. And here's the other one. I'll lift this one out. And this is a uh, a Viewliner baggage car, which is like the baggage cars you see right now on Amtrak trains. You know, you can find them like on the inner city trains, because I know, like such as like the Cardinal, the and all like and all that. And you can even find them on like Lakeshore Limited, Cap the Limited, Southwest Chief, California Zephyr. These were used to replace the older baggage cars, so I'm glad I picked this one up, and I got this as well. This one I got a pretty good deal off of it. It was like $139.99. And this one I picked up at my local hobby shop. For, for about... Even though I paid for the full MSRP on it. But it was a rolling stock sale. So got a discount on that. So so they actually look pretty nice. So I'm going to get the, these both out of the packaging. And then I'll show you guys what, it looks, what they look like. Alright, so I now have the models out of the box right now. So, basically what you want to do when you um, get them out is basically you have to remove the foam that's inside and then there are some holes in the in the back where you can actually have the model out, but you got where you can actually take the model out. But if I were you guys, I would suggest you be extremely gentle with them. Like, for example, let me take this out. So what I'm talking about is like this. The, there's a foam right here. And you can see there's holes there where you can push it out. But before you do that, I suggest you be pre very gentle because, you know, these things, because you know how fragile model trains can be. So there's that. Then here's the P42. It's looking very nice. Number 19. And the Viewliner baggage car. So. I'm going to be doing product reviews on both of these, because these are the first Kato products I have, so let's get started. We'll start with the P42DC first, and then I will move on to the baggage car. Alright, so starting off with the front, as you can see, the locomotive doesn't have any like detail parts in the front. As you can see, it's got a, a different kind of coupler, which I'm not really sure what that is. What kind of coupler that is. I'm not sure if it's like a KD or something. But if anybody knows what kind of coupler that is, just let me know in the comments. And so you can see there's also no hoses. And you can see the snow plow is covered, so I can, you know, it's pretty nice. Because I'm not sure if that's pretty pretty typical on Amtrak. And you can see it's got doesn't have MU hoses. It's got the marker lights. This is where the marker lights are. Dish lights and the headlights and then the cab. There's no windshield wipers. It's got some... But overall, the paint job on it looks pretty nice. And here's the top, which are the antennas. And then there's the horn. I can just see if I can focus. There we go. K5LA. It's got the fan and the stack. That's good. doesn't have any see-through details. And the... Uh, Trucks, detail-wise, are pretty nicely done, and then here's the builder's plate of some sorts. But the ladders are very nicely done. So, anyways, it's got some pretty detail, and also this is where fuel, this is basically where the diesel fuel goes in. There's that. So now I'm going to turn the locomotive around. So I'm just trying to be very careful. Some good detail eyes here. This is super nice. See through, and here's the rear. 
the headlights and all that. And it doesn't have any like MU hoses or train line hoses in the back, which doesn't bother me. And it's gonna, I believe you can a see through window. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. Oops, sorry, my camera needs to focus a little bit better. You can see, very nice. I don't think there is no cab interior. So, anyways, it's absolutely pretty stunning locomotive. So, oh. so anyways, let's give this a run and see how it performs. See, when the train runs in reverse, you can see that the marker lights come up. So if I run it this, it's got pretty nice headlights as well, which is very nice, which I'm really glad. Both the headlights and dash lights light up. And I'll show you the marker lights again. You can see they do light up. So, what's really interesting about Kato products is that basically it has like, it's a pretty strong puller and you know, they got, they usually got like, you know, the, for the axles, they got, both of these are powered and they have some pretty strong pulling power from what I heard, so that means compared to others, they just have like, you know, they have some pretty good pull, pulling power of some sorts, but I hear that Kato's are actually super nice and it's very st stunning. So, anyways, what I have to say about the logo is pretty nicely, nicely done. Even though it doesn't have any like, you know, details yeah, with it, but you know, windshield wipers, emu hoses, and all that. But it doesn't bother me. It's still a really nice looking locomotive, which you can find a pretty good deal off of. So, anyways, without further ado, now we'll move on to the baggage car next. All right, so now that I have the baggage car on the rails, so this is actually probably one of the best rolling stocks that Kato has ever done because Kato was it was the first manufacturer to make these in HO scale and first probably in N scale. It's pretty nicely detailed, you know. It's got some you know, really nice detail with the doors and then marker lights and all that. It's got a pretty nice coupler. Trucks are nicely done. You can see. But the bearing caps do not rotate, as so I can show you, I don't think. Oh wait, actually they do. Never mind. Let me sh zoom in a little bit so you can see. Wow, so they really do rotate. That's that's quite a really interesting feature for, for Kato. So I'll show you the interior, the doors. It's nicely done got lots of good details and I think it's got I'm not sure if it has an interior or not but you can still see the see-through windows and then there's the paint scheme Aaron Trek America it's pretty nice how these were painted into the phase 3 as as you see now and that rolls very nicely there too so I can show you I'll show you the underbody detail so there's the underbody, the trucks, coupler, which has a pretty neat coupler, I mean, which is perfect to like, when you're going around curves, like, because currently I use 22 inch radius curves, because I do know it's recommended for 24, but it goes really well around 22 inch curves. So it's very nice. So I'll show you the, the rotating bearing cast one more time. Yep, there it is. That's actually very nice. So I'll turn it over. It's, it's a very stunning car. And I can show you the top of it. And it's got these things, which I believe, I think they are domes of some sort. They got four of them, just like the real ones. So, so overall, I think this is actually probably a very cool piece of rolling stock. 
for Amtrak because I I seen these on like you know Southwest Cheap and also the Missouri River Runner and they sometimes I they usually put like one baggage car and the rest are just amp fleets and Horizon fleets on the River Runner and then they have like a Siemens charger but even though I don't have a Siemens charger on the way out just because I don't feel like getting one right now so I'll just stick with just running just P42s and such so yeah so anyways I'm actually really glad with how this turned out so I'm actually glad with this so and as well as the P42DC which I have right here they are very nice I'm glad I was able to get my first Kato products so it's very nice so anyways thank you all for watching for me doing all two reviews which are basically Kato products so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time